What is up, everybody? We have a sale going on this week and ends on Monday. Go practice 15 for 15% off the drill booklet so you can practice in a parking lot. Let me pause this real quick. But And this weekend only, you're going to get the rescue booklet with it and the rescue card. So just this weekend, you, you're going to have to use the discount code. Check it out. Link's in the description. Sale ends Monday the 29th. I think the 29th. But let's jump right into this. Huge 20 plus group ride leads to lots of fun. Somebody's gonna crash. K went down. There it is, Tires. right on a corner. Tires are <laughs> How to rescue somebody he's standing, he's walking, he's moving. Good assessment. It means he's breathing, his circulatory system is working, his spine is working, his legs are working, blood pressure is working, so everything is good. Walking wounded, great. Still wanna check for any bleeds. Might not be major, but you can still stop anything. It's good to good to do that. Because if it was major, he'd be passing out probably by now. Yeah, he'll buff out. Minor damage. Just sell it on Craigslist. falling apart, bro. No, it's fine. 69. All right, good for you. Stolen ambulance? Was it a stolen ambulance? Mesa Fire Medical. Somebody that's watching this after the fact or even now, Mesa Fire Medical. See if there's a, an article on that. 51st and Estrella Drive accident, Mesa ambulance stolen. That is an extremely wide turn. Now, I get it. Maybe he's going to miss his turn. So as an ambulance driver, ambulance, we don't even like being called ambulance drivers. As an EMT driving the ambulance, one thing that was taught to us is making sure that we actually prepare for our turns and whatnot. We want to pretend that our grandma's in the back holding uh, like some iced tea, wearing her favorite Sunday white dress on her way to church, and you need to get her there without spilling a drop. And that, so like the goal was to be smooth on the acceleration, smooth on the braking, smooth on the turning, going a little bit slower if you need to, and then knowing full well where you're supposed to be turning. So, benefit of the doubt, this person did not know that they're supposed to turn there. They had a patient in the back, so they slammed the brakes and then tried to make a wide turn, hit this person. Not good. But if it was stolen, makes sense. The person doesn't know how to drive an ambulance. That's an extremely wide turn. And I don't know if they just took off, took off, but it looks an awful lot like they just took off, took off. Oh! Oh! Open lane pattern for motorcyclists, right? Let's take a look at this. So we talk about open lane patterns all the times for, let's go ahead and go back. Open lane patterns all the time for uh, cars and actual lanes. But for motorcyclists, especially in this area, right? That middle is an open lane. Because if people are labeled to lane split, it's an open lane, right? For motorcyclists. We're stuck in traffic. We don't like it. We want to be in this lane that's moving, which is our lane now, right? Because we're lane splitting. We didn't even check our... We didn't do a head check. Just a very quick one, maybe. Okay, I take it back. We did a quick one. Then we pop out. Didn't see that person. So open lane patterns. Everyone's speeding though, right? So how difficult is it for a car driver to see a speeding mo motorcyclist in that open lane? So we're really starting to pick apart these things, right? Think about it. Think about it. Throw the question on to you. Thankfully, he's got fingerless gloves. That's totally going to protect him in an accident. Who makes fingerless motorcycle gloves? Who does that? Okay. They're a little bit over, but we're middle, middle, middle. I talk about that all the time. You guys don't like it, but I like middle, middle, middle for this reason. Man, talk about over the center line, buddy. I like his accent. Dino's motorcycle rides. Crashing. Do I have to wait 12 seconds? I'm gonna make you guys wait a little bit longer Attention by doing enough that. For the right, let's go ahead and watch. Turn to white. So we're shifting. That he noticed a large amount of gravel. No, no motorcycles. Lots of gravel. Avoid slipping. Oh, look up, buddy! You gotta make that turn. You gotta make that turn. 
<laughs> what were we doing here? Uh, we're a little too fast for our skill level? I think so, bro. I f***ing slammed my head. Yeah, you might have a minor concussion, which is still considered a TBI, traumatic brain injury. So we have a turn. We put our hand up for a quick second. Look at the chevrons indicating it's a sharp left turn. Oh. We panicked. You're, you got the straightaway right there where it says crash in 0001. You just keep going. Target fixate on the on the exit, not the crash area. The turns over. Oh. Ouch though. Oh. Good? I think Ouchie. so, bro. I slammed my head. Black Adder 1620. So braking is going to be a little difficult because of the wet road. Watch out for that person right there. Nice little swerve out of the way. Swerve right back because you're going to hit the median. Handled it great. Guy not paying attention. Talk, talking on a cell phone almost kills you. Okay. Looks like he's merging. Looks like he was just merging onto the interstate. Stuff happens. Don't flip out and stay calm. I love that. Blinker Ogun. Good job with the braking. A little bit choppy we're in fifth gear and 37 it's 37 miles an hour so we need to probably shift it down a little bit more so at this point we're practicing our shifting but you're doing a great job you pro you're progressively we're breakings there you go speak daniel progressively breaking handled it got yourself out of that situation what do we got okay cool I feel like my eyes got blurry for a second all right right turner in there Almost wrecked with the car making a U-turn. Oh, please don't tell me they're doing a U-turn in the middle of the road. Good swerve. Good swerve. So she was not watching for you. Let's take a look at this. So we have that Suzuki, or I'm sorry, the Honda Pilot. Is that a Pilot? No, it's not the Pilot. No, it's not the Pilot. It's a Honda, though. It's got those weird doors. She probably saw that vehicle and was going to make a left-handed U-turn and then get in that far right lane, but only saw that vehicle because of inattentional blindness. Doesn't see Honda Element. There you go. Didn't see us because they weren't paying attention for motorcyclists. They were paying attention for uh, car drivers. So she's like, I'm going to go ahead and get into that middle lane. Didn't see us. Fine, right? Perfectly fine. That's what they did. We know their information. Cool. What are we going to do? What do we do? As part of planning a ride, we're going to locate this hazardous situation. We see somebody there, side of the vehicle, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Assessing any relevant threats. It's kind of in our lane, but as soon as they stay in our lane, we got to navigate that. So good job with the swerve. It's like, oh, I don't want to be in that far right lane because that Honda Element's there. So as soon as you see those tires kind of turn back into your lane, oh, geez. So we're going to try to get ourselves in that far left lane. It's going to give us the best opportunity because they are going to take the whole lane for us. So we have to do a red stage maneuver, which is already in motion right now. Good job with the swerve, recognizing this hazard situation, assessing if it was a relevant threat, and you're going to navigate this active one. So good job. And we're going to swerve over. And guess what? We're in a whole new situation. We have an open everything over here. We're doing well. No new things happening, so we can go right back into yellow stage. Because we want to be relaxed, because it takes so much brain power. Show of hands in class right now. Show of hands in class. When you're riding in town where busy traffic, you get mentally exhausted within 10, 15 minutes. Or you're riding, you know, on open roads, and you just gain energy. It's because your mental overload, your, your cognitive overload, your, you only have so much bandwidth to think, okay? You ever hear about, was it like choice uh, or decision fatigue? Decision fatigue, by the time you get to like the evening, your brain is just fatigued, especially if you're working. You make the best decisions in the morning. Your brain can only handle so much. So the goal is to switch from, let's see, let's go back just a little bit. The goal is to switch from, hey, we're in orange stage here. Okay, so we're using our brain right now. We originally were in yellow stage, but now we're in here. We're using our brain. Now we're having to use our brain and our muscles. So we're utilizing energy. The goal is to save as much energy as possible so that if something else pops up, we're not fatigued and tired. So our goal is to actually get back into a relaxed state. It's not about staying in hyper alert stage all the time. You want to get back into a relaxed state so that you have energy in reserve. 
So once you pass the situation and you're in a new safe spot, calm yourself, breathe, calm that nervous system. You're not in fight or flight anymore. You're just in regular mode. And then you're going to continue looking out for things. That's it. Just patterns. They help you out. So the goal is to get back into a relaxed stage. Okay? So right here, this is a high fatigued area, especially when some dumb dumb opens their door. Who does this? I don't see this very often. I've never thought about opening my door in the middle of traffic. But anyways, uh, definitely an orange stage. We get to this point. Great breaking. An amazing progressive breaking. Everyone give them a clap in the chat. That was great breaking because it was really tough. <laughs> and of course, people get upset. All right, here we go. Coming driver failed to stay in his lay on the curve. The rider was really lucky that he not okay. resulted in a minor scrape. So curves a little scary. Oh, there was an impact. Alors je dis tout de suite, avant que vous commenciez à dire quelque chose en commentaire, oui, ma trajectoire est dégueulasse. C'est-à-dire que je prends beaucoup trop serré, beaucoup trop tôt. Donc... So there was an impact. There's a nice little impact. This is why I like middle, middle, middle. The rider was really lucky that he only middle, middle, middle. Because look at right here, we're on the inside, right on the inside. We did outside, inside, outside. Well, sometimes other cars do middle, middle, or middle, outside, middle. They like go a little too wide. So I want to be a little bit off. Alors je dis tout de suite, avant que vous. All right, we'll, we'll finish this off and we'll move on to the next one. Oui. Oui. Trajectoire est dégueulasse. C'est-à-dire que je prends beaucoup trop serré, beaucoup trop. I wonder if it is knee. That would have hurt. Oh. Not necessarily an open lane. Looks like they were trying to get off the interstate, but didn't see us. I mean, just look at our windshield. That's what they're. That's what they're seeing too. It's really difficult to see. We have a great position for safety. We have good vision. We have a good space cushion. We have good escapes. We have an idiot that kind of pulled out. And that's fine. We were going to probably switch lanes too. They saw it. Got freaked out. They were paying attention. If they, if they weren't paying attention, they would have done it. But they saw you. They acted and then looked instead of looked and acted. That's all. They learned. Okay. Orange state situation. Watch out for people poking out. Little speed wobbles. Little speed wobbles. Oh, we're getting boxed in right here. Break, 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 break. Good job. Increase your space cushion. Good line of sight. You see that, right? Good line of sight. All right, moving on. All right, we're lane filtering because it stopped. They legalized it today. It's illegal in Montana. They legalized it today in Montana. Really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, what? Splitting lanes. Oh. It's legal for me to do this now. Okay. Pretty neat, huh? Be careful. Thanks. Hey. Love that. I had a few of those things when Arizona legalized it. And the thing is, the general public doesn't know these things because they, they don't ride motorcycles, so they're just not going to know. So you're going to have people do this. And then this was an amazing response. An amazing... Bob Snipes. It's an amazing response. I want to watch it again. Sorry, guys. It's illegal to split lanes in Montana. They legalized it today. So this right here, that's a great response instead of just calling the guy an idiot. Hey, it's illegal in Montana. So probably didn't hear what he said. Probably thought he the motorcycles was just saying some dumb stuff. They legalized it today in Montana. He just raised his voice, said the same thing, and it, and, and you can tell his inflection is is not like hey you dumb dumb. It's more of like hey, guess what? So have that feeling when you say stuff. And he's like really, okay. and he that was an okay like. Okay, but ended it, right? Didn't escalate it. It was a de-escalation. Love it. And then she wants to join in. I love this because now you're, you're educating two people. 
I didn't know it was legal in Montana. So you're educating me and the 280, 292 of you that are in class right now. And then those of you that are watching this later. Split in lane. So lane filtering probably. If it's anything like Utah and Arizona, it's just splitting, or I'm sorry, filtering at a stoplight between vehicles under 10 miles an hour. Vehicles can't be moving, can't be with oncoming traffic. There's a few things about it, but. I'm gonna do this now. Okay. Pretty neat, huh? Be careful. Hey. And I just love how she's like, she threw out, be careful. Instead of getting angry. Montana people. Anybody here from Montana? Are they this nice? I like it. Death Corps Dan 223. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Recognized something was happening. Didn't continue with the visor. Moved on. Good job. They took it back? Montana took it back? Oh. Side of the vehicle. That vehicle saw it. Almost. Oh, oh, did hit. So it's not just. It, this is a dumb driver. I can't give inattentional blindness to this one. So. Yeah. And they impacted. The vehicle moved. All right, so nice head check. Side of the vehicle right there. Good job with braking. So he was braking and the horn. I'm fine with that because he was doing the braking part. Doing the braking part. U-turn fail, foot down, need more practice. Hey, Henry Lamb, so if you want to practice your U-turns and figure eights and straight line weaves and all that stuff, what you can do is get yourself a Smart Rider Drill booklet, which there's a sale going on right now for this weekend only. ends on the Monday the 29th. You can practice all your stuff, and with that sale, 15% off, go practice 15. You're going to get the rescue booklet and the rescue card with it, okay? Only this weekend, just saying. If you want to practice, here you go. How you doing? Bentley, here we go. So somebody's in our lane, what are we gonna do? Switch over or apply the brakes? We applied the brakes. Okay. There you go. Moved on. A very dangerous situation where driver behind- It's Missy, Gr congrats. Rider ...and decided to overtake him from the right side. We're on an e-bike. Right? Is that an e-bike? No, it's not. It looks like an e-bike. Okay, they overtook us. Not a big deal. Let them have it. The Liquor Chronicles, how you doing, buddy? Haven't seen you in a while. Which is a good thing, I think. Whoa, jeez. That's an interesting intersection. And he's gonna get mad. You good, bro? Yeah. yeah, I saw it, man. I saw it. Okay. Whatever happened, happened. That was an interesting intersection. Somebody almost died. All right, so we're having some fun here. Okay, probably lost attraction. Probably hit a bump. There it is. A little up and over. Butt hurts a little bit. Breaking your coccyx. Your tailbone. Sucks. So hopefully you didn't do that. It's part of the game when you're out there in the wilderness. But make sure... Either have cell service or something to stop major bleeds because you're on your own. Here we go. We're going to move over. Okay. Good job. Switched over. Look ahead. There's the other vehicle. You don't know what they're going to do. He's still in bed. Okay. Interesting. Side of the vehicle. Couldn't see because of the bus, so we had a line of sight issue for that vehicle. Good job braking. We're going to switch lanes. We're going to move on. Handled it very well. Okay, open lane pattern. We got a side of the pedestrian. Okay. Handled it. Move on. All right. Having some fun. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, we're all going to fall backwards. Ooh, breaking collarbones are very common with this. Arm injuries, shoulder injuries. Yeah, it hit some it hit hard. Elbow guards. Elbow guards. Wear your gear. Hey, we didn't... Smart Rider acquires and uses personal protective equipment just in case, and hopefully one of them are rescue trained. Make it. No. Band driver leave. Okay, they already went away. Okay. Well, I mean, there's... Sure, they're indicating, but they're still traveling pretty fast. I don't trust people's... In, I don't... I just don't trust people. 
I just don't. I trust what I see, and I see this person's moving fast. I don't trust what they indicate. They can say they're going to do something, but they're going to act differently. Just watch out. Just watch out. If you're slowing down with the indicator, it makes more sense. Okay. What do we got here? Anybody going to... All right, so everybody, thank you so much for joining the class. Remember, the sale's going on till Monday the 29th. You're going to get 15% off the drill booklet, and it's going to come with the rescue booklet and the rescue card. So go ahead and go to the shop. Link's in the description for that. With that said, hope you guys ride safe, be safe, and I'll see you on the next live stream.